Hello Virgo, we're going to take a look at the overall energy of your love reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Virgo. My name is Donna, welcome to the channel. We have the world, ooh, is somebody traveling the world? Are they from a different culture, a different country, a different ethnicity? The world card is also leveling up, going to the next level. It can be closing out a cycle of dating and leveling up to marriage. It can be closing out a relationship entirely and moving on. But we see the man holding the coins. So we see somebody who values you. They see you as that person who's holding a coin. They value you very highly. I love the symmetry of the circle of the coin and the circle of the world. They do think the world of you. Nice energy, Virgo. We get patience. Well, Virgo, you're very patient sign too. Virgo is the house of the problem solver. You are the problem solvers of the zodiac. So let's go ahead and look and see what your person's thoughts, feelings, and intentions are with you at this time. So Virgo, Virgo, let's cut the deck. I just want to thank everybody who has been faithful and helpful and very much helping me pro promote the channel with likes, subscribes, and shares. Virgo, you need rest. You want a victory. You have choices. You have options. All right, let's take a look and see what your person is, is um, planning with you. The sun card, happiest card in the deck, Leo energy. They find you beautiful, sexy, enticing, funny, joyful. They see you as a perfect romantic partner. They are looking at things from a higher perspective. They think that, that you could go the distance. The sun card is one of the most important cards in the deck for long-term happiness in any relationship. I do read this as love, but it can be anything or anyone. We see that you are the, the person, your person really is, they plan on sticking around, I can tell you that. We get this very sexy, very happy, outgoing, um, sharp into the spear. They plan on pursuing you with passion. That is Aries energy and Leo energy, fiery energy here, Virgo. We also see that this person is very strategic. They plan to win. So your person is in this King of Wands energy, again, very fiery Leo energy. They have a lot of pride. They have a lot of dignity. This is a person who works strategically. This is a, a soft side of this King of Wands energy, a feminine version of it, you, if you will. But they have plans, you know, they're they find you smoking hot, though. In the recent past, Virgo, we see the Two of Cups. You've had a really sweet heart-to-heart -heart talk. You've spent lovely time together. It's Cancerian energy. It's it's two cups of love, two people who love each other. So their thoughts are they're going to continue to pursue this. Their feelings are that they're very much in love with you. You could be their soulmate. They think of you often. They think of you um, as they're the person with whom they've had the most secret sweet love for in their entire lives. We see the energy of the Ten of Swords. Right now, Virgo, your person is feeling very, very defeated. The Ten of Swords is when, you know, your person's thoughts, they're all up in their head right now. They feel as though you might be disengaged with them. And from what I can see, it looks like you may not have spoken for a while with the the Four of Swords. You may be healing, you may be under the weather, but they don't really know what you're doing so we see that right now the best that can come of this is your person really is not going to take any action they feel as though you know you you might be ending the relationship their thoughts are probably very incorrect obviously what i'm seeing is very different than what um you know you're from your standpoint virgo in the near future they have something to say to you they have a burning desire to clear the air we can see this, you know, I almost call this the runs with scissors energy because your person's pretty agitated. They're feeling a sense of betrayal. You know, what they feel and, you know, what reality is is often different for all of us, but your person feels as though they really love you and that you're disengaged with them, that you have all these options. So they they have something to say. You know, they, they want to clear the air. We can see it right here. They're swooping in. You might be dealing with an air sign. You've got Gemini, Gemini energy. Let's see in terms of how they feel again. Look at that Ace of Cups. They love you. Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. That's uh, a love that is definitely growing. 
they feel that you are their happy place, as we can see. What are they thinking of the situation? Nine of Swords all up in their head. Once again, Gemini energy, they're losing sleep over this. I just don't think that you've been talking to them. What is their worst fear and their happiest thought? The Ace of Swords. Well, their thought is that they need clarity. They're hoping it's good, good news, but they're ready for bad news. The outcome in terms of what they're going to do at this time is five of coins. They are going to go silent. They feel left in the cold, so they are just going to stay out there in the cold and wait for you to invite them in. And uh, if you don't, you don't. And they, they feel pretty devastated, though. Your person is feeling like um, they don't really have many choices. They don't have many options here. The Five of Pentacles energy is Taurus energy. They feel as though you don't value them. Um, so, you know, whether that's the case or not, whether the energies are vice versa, uh, could also be the truth of the situation. So let's go ahead here and look and see what the clarifiers are. We're just going to clarify the cards that look difficult. There's no reason to clarify the others. So let's see, the Four of Swords, what's your, your energy? You look exhausted here. Okay, so what's going on with this energy? How do you feel towards this person, Virgo? How do you feel towards this person? Eight of coins, as far as you're concerned, everything's fine. That is your energy too. Okay, let's see the five of wands. What has you hopping? It looks like you're busier than you know what to do. If this is a work-related uh, energy, it looks like you're highly in demand. You could be exhausted from that, but you could also be exhausted from conquest. So your person thinks that you have a lot of options. What's the truth of the matter is, Virgo, Virgo, are you exercising other options? Tell us just about why this Five of Wands is here. Son of Swords, okay, Knight of Swords energy. Actually, the energy that I'm getting is that you sense that this person gets distressed with you when you're really busy. And you almost feel like you don't know what to do when you feel that they could be angry with you. The world card says that sometimes you just expect that they'll end it. But we, we get the world card. I mean, you know that they think the world of you. We also get the six of cups. You do want to see this person. You want to have a reunion with them. I don't really see you involved with anybody else here romantically. I am getting the six of cups. You see this person as a soulmate. You've known each other, it looks like, for a long time maybe even since childhood, but for a very long time. And the Son of Cups is, you know, you would really like to make an offer of love to this person. Well, there's trouble in River City, as the, as the movie The Music Man stated, trouble in River City. There's, you know, what you're, what's being said in terms of what you're thinking and feeling, the silent communication as your person is not feeling that you're all that into them. They feel as though you could be off with somebody else. When we get the Queen of Wands energy, it can be very symbolic also uh, of someone who could have another woman. You know, there could be a third party is what your person's thinking. So let's see the Ten of Swords here. Why is the Ten of Swords here for you, Virgo, Mother of Pentacles? Your person is very much a very nurturing person. They're very grounded. This is the energy of Capricorn. The person you're involved with is somebody who's very successful in their business. They probably have had uh, a, a nice family that they've nurtured. This is very nurturing energy. It's very stable energy. It's Capricorn. It's very serious. This person is a very serious person when it comes to love and specifically with you. Let's look and see why the Queen of Wands is here. The Eight of Coins. Well, what your person wants to know, the Queen of Wands is very much a business card also. It can be another woman or another man, somebody they have to compete with. But the Eight of Coins here, excuse me, I'm sorry, this is the Eight of Coins, this is Seven of Coins. So what we're seeing here is that you are invested in something that's exhausting you though. But what we're seeing is your person wants to know more about what's going on. They do see that you could be working. They definitely feel as though you have a good you know, a good business, good job, good occupation, something that you, they think that you pursue money with a lot of gusto, with a lot of passion, with that Aries energy. They feel like you might be doing a lot of projects. What is it that they want to clear the air about, though? That Gemini energy is swift. They want to know if you're invested. That your person wants to know if you really want them, if you're holding on to them. The Four of Coins, is they're also holding back. They want to know why you're holding back. 
We get the Queen of Swords energy. That's Libra energy. Your person wants to know the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Okay. The Nine of Swords. Why are they all up in their head? My goodness. That is very, very tough energy. Eight of Swords. Because you haven't done anything. You haven't contacted maybe in a week. Anywhere from maybe six to nine days. Tell us more about that. They feel as though you're doing it on purpose. You have a choice, Virgo. <laughs> Virgo, we can't make this stuff up. Here you are and you're, they just feel as though you go silent. They feel virtually ghosted. It's not, they're searching for answers. Five of Wands, again, they keep coming to the same conclusion that you might have, you know, other people around you. The truth of the Five of Wands reversed is the Daughter of Wand, of Swords. So your person is really racking their brain. You know, for many Virgos, you don't have a lot online. Your person feels frustrated because they can't find anything out. The Three of Cups, they feel as though... They do feel as though you care, but they feel as though you friend zone them. Like a friends with benefits kind of an energy. That while they're having all this passion, they think that you are doing that. The Ace of Swords, the truth of the situation is they want to move forward. And the Daughter of Cups is how they feel, Page of Cups. They're really... When you contact them, they'll be sweet, they'll be kind, but they're... They're holding back, but they're not going to make it obvious. I think that you're going to know that. When we look at the energy of the five of coins being left out in the cold, that's that's their intentions with you is to simply wait for you. They're going to stay out in the cold until you invite them in. So we see that what they want is a new beginning with you, but they're not going to initiate that new beginning. So if there's been some challenge in this relationship, I do not see your person. Um, willing to take action what do they want though so for their intention you know they want they want a happily ever after relationship with you but if they can't have it you're dealing with a queen of pentacles that's a pre-empress so you're not going to have this person who's going to invest in somebody who is not invested in them so that's what i see for their thoughts feelings intentions let's see here in terms of the heart of the fairy oracle what is going on this is sort of the the tarot that tells us about the magic, the mysticism, and the mayhem that each of us has inside of us. It gives us a really clear view of what's happening in a more spiritual way to your person internally. The Ten of Swords energy, what is this about? The Sorcerer, they just really think that you're... They they feel as though you know what you're doing. They, You know, the Sorcerer knows all the tricks. Your person feels, you know, this is a dark side of their psyche, but they feel that you might be playing games, that you, you disappear on them and you reappear on them at whim. The Star Fairy, they just, they love you. Oh, my God, they think you're brilliant, but they also think that you use that against them. Now, you know, this doesn't have to be the case at all. You know, sometimes what people say and what we hear are very different. The meaning or the intention might be very different from our takeaway and that's the kind of energy that I'm trying to reveal to you right now you know because a lot of times our perceptions are not real you know they're just perceptions nine of swords energy what is that about they feel as though you whitewash everything your person feels as though you don't really come clean with them and they want that clarity the hidden one they think that you have secrets they think that you hide out they think that you don't tell them most of everything they don't feel like you really come forward and give them the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth with the Queen of Swords. Why is it that your person feels so left in the cold? Tell us, Spirit, what is that about? The returning. Well, they don't know if you're going to return. So whenever you disappear, you dip out on them, uh, even for you know, a week. I mean, they, they definitely feel it's the end of the relationship, and they wonder if you're returning. And the pan, they do think that you're a little bit Peter Panish. They think that you're, you know, that, that you kind of know you just don't want to be responsible. That's how your person feels. They feel you, you want to be Peter Pan. I won't grow up. I don't want to go to school. They feel that you um, BS them. And we get the temptation card is reversed. They simply don't know if you're off experiencing temptations. You know, temptations of the flesh. And we see it over here with the Five of Wands card. Why is the Five of Wands card here? Why is the Five of Wands card here? Let's see what we have. The Oh No card. So this person has revealed something to you that they've done things uh, like being naughty. 
what is it that you have to worry about with this card with them? You, yeah, this is the card. This is the energy that, for instance, if you told, if you were having an affair with a with a single person and you're married, Virgo, they're going to absolutely know that you violated moral principle. They're going to know or they're going to feel the threat always that you'll betray them. So, you know, there's, it's not an easy energy to deal with, but it, it's what I see right now. Your person really adores you. They love you. It looks like you love them. So I'm hoping things, I hope you take a step forward, Virgo, and help your person out this week and really, you know, engage with them in a way that's valuable. So if the energies are vice versa, let me know in the comments below. Please tell me where you're watching the video from. I'm in Chicago broadcasting. Send me a love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from.